Sure, it's Friday, October 28th, 2022. This is the SRS show where James Hudson, you're like, Friday? If you guys are longtime listeners or watchers, I used to do this show on Fridays. Then I went to Mondays and this whole other story. Hi, I'm James Lodge, you super organizer. This is a, another, this is a little quick episode. I'm doing a few of these in between my episodes where I actually have guests. Now I have a guest. I just booked one today. It's coming up in a couple of weeks, so you'll be happy with her. But I have been on for a couple of weeks, uh, revamping my business, changing things. And that includes, I'm not doing really any more physical organizing. I have a couple of clients here and there uh, every once in a while, but that's it. I'm mostly now doing organizing tips, classes, classes, workshops, some virtual, just kind of like doing that at this point. Uh, and also, I super organized myself this week. Uh, I had a couple of rooms that needed work that I was so busy doing everybody else, I was neglecting myself. Now I feel better because really, when you do get organized, it does feel better. If you're noticing my face, I have a shaved face. I'm getting ready for Halloween, which is on Monday, but I have an event on Sunday, and I'm shaving my face for that. So stay tuned for all that and what that means. I feel very strange talking to you without facial hair. Um, but so, you know, before I do that, also I want to do my thanks and gratitude. But thanks and gratitude go to everyone who has ever listened to an episode of the show, watched an episode of the show, likes my tips, um, comes to my online classes now that I have. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. It's more of a fun thing, and I learn stuff, too, from other people. It's kind of a give-and-take exchange. Yes, I'm an expert. I've been doing this for 13 years, plus all the experience I have in my other jobs in life and organizing. But I still learn that education never ends. It never ends. And that's how it should be. It should never end. Um, so I want to give thanks and gratitude to everyone in my life that brings, brings something back to me. Um, this episode is really quick because it's five ways to help you tomorrow self. Something that I came up with tomorrow self, meaning... In the future, tomorrow, tomorrow could be five days from now, five weeks from now, five years from now. And I always talk about in my practice about doing stuff that helps you out uh, in the future. That every action has a you know has a a consequence or an action after that. That could be wonderful. And so this is like a for like basic, you know, life stuff. And for me, I I assume this for work. Uh, a lot of times, um, or travel, well, I don't travel, so more like work, uh, everyday life, that kind of stuff. Um, this can be used for people who are single, people who have kids, who don't have kids, have dogs, whatever. It's a, it's some tips that I found that help me out a little bit in advance, because I like to sleep. I also like to be organized, not wasting my time. So these things actually help me accomplish both those things. And one is, I always check the weather. I always check the weather. Yes, the weather can change in a moment. So sometimes, depending on where you live. But for the most part, if you check the weather for the next five or six days, check the weather for at least for tomorrow, that can help you kind of get what kind of day you might have in terms of transportation, clothing, hair, all that stuff. I hate kind of waking up and having to figure that out in the morning. Because uh, I don't want to get up at two, three hours early to do all that. Some people do. They have routines. For, uh, this is for the folks like me who like to sleep, but want to have enough time to get ready, but not have to, like, you know, four or five hours early. So I check the weather. I check the weather, see what's going on, see what the deal is. That helps so much in choice. Um, at least helps you if you want to put your clothes out the night before, you know, find where that jacket is the day before, you know, all that kind of stuff. So at least you're prepared um, for what might happen. Two, this kind of goes with that. Make sure the I call it important laundry is done. That all the your the items you need are washed. So if you have clothes for work, make sure that it's dry clean. Make sure that it's washed ahead of time. That is done of your job. Uh, if there's certain I you need underwear and stuff. Make sure that's all washed. It's important. I, I I feel like some laundry isn't as important. If you have five six pairs of sheets. Maybe the sheets can wait. If you already have some in the closet, you have some on your bed, the sheets may not be as important. We can't do everything. We could try, but we can't. So I always say, at least if you can get the stuff that you know you're going to need that week to wear, get that done. This is for every day all the time. I have right over here. Down here, I have right over here. Uh, yes, down there. I have a bowl. A bowl. Actually, I'll show it to you guys. I don't know why I'm like pointing. 
I have a regular bowl. I got 50 cents. It has my wallet. It has some hand lotion. It has my keys and my chapstick. It's always, this is what this bowl is for. Have a dedicated spot for those like items you literally use every day. I, I use this every day. I get keys every day, car keys every day, every day. Have a spot for them, whether it's by the door, by your bed, off to the side, wherever, just have a spot. Some people hang things up. You can hang it, so just have a spot because it'll take you, because I, I know you hate this too. I have everything but my keys to my house. I can't find my keys to my house. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? I'm telling you, when you have a routine of doing this, it becomes second nature. You just automatically do it. And no thinking is required. It's just there. Four, something that nobody talks about. I set my, I, I said earlier, I don't be up five hours early. Some people do that, but I actually meditate in the morning. But I, so I set my alarm slightly enough more time so I can wake up slowly. I actually hurt my back by getting up so fast and jumping out of bed. So I now take my time. So for example, my first meeting is at 8.30. A lot of times for me, if you have to, you have to kind of practice and gauges for yourself. For me, seven o'clock is good. From seven o'clock until um, I say about 7.30, I need, about, I need like 20, 30 minutes to kind of wake up. Then I get up, then I meditate. And then when I'm done meditating and praying, then I'm ready to get dressed, take a shower, wash my face, whatever I got to do for that 8.30 meeting. So give yourself enough time. You have to gauge this for yourself. It may be it was 6.30. It may be just 7.30 and you see that you need 20 minutes to wake up. Like just kind of find your sweet spot, but don't just jump out of bed. Take your time. I'm not saying get on the phone, but I'm just saying just like take your time, wake up slowly, get ready, get yourself acclimated to what's going on and then start your day. At five, I always say watch a comedy before bed. I always laugh about that. Just watch something funny because I had a dream there. I, I watched something about the Holocaust last night. It was a really good documentary. Probably the strangest dream. So I'm like, sometimes after you do that, I'd watch a comedy. At least if you have some comedic dreams, you'll, you'll laugh in your sleep. But watch something that's going to be, you know, the comedic. You can switch it out with watch something soothing before bed, uh, whatever. But just, I mean, I always say let's end the let's end the night on something positive. So when you go to bed, you feel positive my five things so check the weather sort out make sure important laundry is done have a dedicated spot for your really good items set the alarm for enough time to wake up slowly and watch a comedy before bed i'm james live jr super organizer a lot of help.com uh if you want to hire me or have consultations or whatever you can find prices there or contact me for prices uh the super o and the super Super O and the SOS underscore show on Twitter. The Super Organizer, Super Organizer show on Facebook. James Lodge Jr. everywhere else. Everyone, please help your tomorrow self.